Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth. All right, um, I'm, I'm going to just jump right into it. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be at this, at this spot. I have a couple of videos I want to share. This is basically uh, uh, in the news, prophecy in the news uh, type deal. Um, so let's jump right to the first video, which is uh, from uh, Health Ranger Report, which is Mike Adams from the Natural News website. Um, I was listening to his... Uh, situation report uh, last night um, and uh, about 13 and a half minutes in he says this all right which is all biblical prophecy everything is lining up directly the way the Lord said it would this is why I read second as nine to measure out the time uh, diligently in itself all right so let's uh, Without further ado, let's let this play. Listen up. So prepare for, of course, mass starvation, famine, but also panic, a lot of social unrest and so on. And it is, um, things are getting, yeah, very, very dire out there. So in, in France, Bruno Le Maire has also warned that they have to start making emergency plans to decide who to cut off from electricity. And they call that, quote, load shedding plans. And he says, quote, we are doing it. He says it means looking in a very specific way at each company, each employment. Just a second. All right, Salakia, Salakia. I had to uh, take care of that. But um, real quick. Bear with me, hold on a second. But um, let's get back to the video. Now what Mike Adams is talking about is uh, how the rest of the world is just totally on fire. How certain parts of Germany and over there in Europe, they're gonna be uh, asked out when it comes to natural gas in uh, power because they get it from Russia, all right? And these are the same type of things that is, that is going to uh, be over here in the States. And it's going to be a lot worse, all right? But let's play it. The area, which are the companies that should reduce their energy consumption and which are the ones that cannot? And what this means is that they're going into triage mode now, the planning for it, because they're going to have to just start shutting off you know, factories and companies and employers and so on. So they're trying to figure out, okay, do we need to keep the hospitals running? Probably yes. Do we need to keep the military bases running? Probably yes. Do they want to keep the government, you know, ministry offices? Because every all the Europeans, they love their government ministry offices. Somebody's got to have air conditioning so they can stamp papers over and over again with all kinds of stamps. You know, what would Europe be without stamps, for God's sake, and bureaucrats to do the stamping? <laughs> so, yeah, they'll probably keep all that running, which means that the electricity is going to get shut off to you. Yeah, the residential areas are going to get shut down, and the rural areas, folks. They're going to shut off the farms, which is going to have implications that are dire. They're going to shut off the rural areas, and they're going to try to keep their cities running. So, you're going to see a kind of discrimination and racism in deciding in their decision of who to shut off and who to keep running and if the power grid 
starts to get really attacked in America, the same decisions will be made in America as well. They'll try to keep the liberal cities running while killing off the rural farmers and country people who are Trump supporters. Mark my words, that's, that's what's going to happen with electricity and with food. The government will direct food to the cities to keep their voters alive, and they'll try to starve out the country people. Well, well that's where he, he, you know, he, he still thinks that there's, they, they're not worried about an election or any of that. Their thing is to bring this place to its knees and to generate as much fear as they can to where the people will come to them and and voluntarily accept this uh, new world order by way of receiving the Kool-Aid as well as the uh, MOTB, the CHIP. That's why they're going to break it down the way they're going to break it down. They ain't worried about another vote and none of that. All right, they ain't worried. And this is why I always say the prophets have 100% of the truth. We just use these videos as such to marry the events, real-time reality events, to show you that biblical prophecy is alive and well and is, is, is in the earth, all right, heavy, okay? So as you just heard them, man, all right, they getting ready to, uh, just like they doing all over the world right now, that's getting ready to come to the states, all right? That's getting ready to come to the states where they're going to start rationing power, the power to the people as far as your homes and things of that nature will be cut while they keep on certain government buildings and, and different functions of that nature, all right? And also, they're going, like I said, they're going to generate the fear and the pressure to where you're going to go to them for help. And that's what they want, ultimately. Because once they get you in one of them uh, FEMA, they probably going to call them uh, safe havens or whatever, all right? Um, they got you, all right? A good thing that country people know how to survive, right? Good thing that country people have backup food because the city people would just start dying immediately if they didn't have you know, emergency supplies rolling in. But that's how this is going to go down, by the way. So understand that over the weekend, too, in Germany, companies started cutting off hot water. They're starting to dim the lights of certain buildings, especially government buildings and, and certain public areas and so on. Landlords are increasing the heating costs and you know utilities costs. And in addition, the European media is saying that if Russia cuts off gas supplies to Europe, Germany will suffer a 12.7% drop in its GDP just by the end of this year. I mean, that is a catastrophic collapse. That is a wartime collapse. You don't drop 12.7% in GDP unless your infrastructure has taken a major hit. That, that's like having cities bombed in World War II terms, okay? So things are getting very dire in France, in Germany, and they're starting to plan for the cutoff of energy. And of course, the globalists are just, you know, drooling with joy. Like, we've finally done it. You know, we've we finally found a way to starve them out and freeze them out. And it's called the winter of 2022 slash 23. That winter is going to be brutal for Europe, especially if Russia does cut off all its gas completely. Now, the Russian people will then have lots of excess gas. They'll be warm and toasty, paying uh, almost nothing for gas in Russia, you know, natural gas for heating and electricity, while the Europeans will be starving and freezing and losing their homes and watching their economy implode. It's not going to be a pretty picture. So the, the bottom line in all of this, whether we're talking about domestically in the U.S., the deliberate explosions, the arson, the sabotage of food facilities, sabotage of energy, takedown of diesel, all of that, or we're talking about Europe, which is losing gas and has previously dismantled its own energy infrastructure. In both cases, the unprepared masses in America and in Europe are going to panic and they're going to revolt and it looks like that is going to happen this year now of course the democrats want a panic right the people are going to go into an uproar and frenzy just like it says here in math in which the world is already there this is matthew 24 and um i'm 
I'm going to start at uh, Matthew 24 and 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All right? Um... Let me get the one in Luke where it speaks about the uproars of the people. All right? Because the people are in uproar already. Okay? And then we're going to come back to Matthew 24. Real quick. I'm trying to get this done quick. So I can... If I can find it, go straight to it. You know what? I think I read it. Yeah, I think I did. Second edges. Yep. I didn't read the third verse, but let's read the third verse. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 3, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And that's what we're seeing. And this is what he's reporting on. All right? He's reporting on all the uproars throughout the planet Earth. And the uproars have went up, uh, have been turned up a whole nother notch, man. All right? Uh, he mentioned Sri Lanka. You got Albany, you got all these countries whose the, the people have taken to the streets by the hundreds of thousands and basically have toppled their government, all right? And this is what uh, Esau Edom wants here in the States because that's a part of his plan. That's a part of you playing into his plan. That's why we say don't get caught up in your emotions out here, all right? That's, it's we in the time of judgment. The Lord is going to bring judgment to the people out here, man, all right? So uh, verse 3 again, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay. Now, let's go back to Matthew 24. I wanted to read. All right. Matthew chapter 24. <clears throat> verse 21 and like he said there will be a panic he said there's going to be a panic and people are going to you know just go out and it's going to be all hell man and this is a great this is the time of great tribulation Matthew 24 and 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be and this is where we headed, man. So I'm going to let it play a little bit more, and I'm going to go to the next video. They want a national emergency before the midterm elections because they want a reason to stop those elections. They want to be able to declare an emergency and say, oh, we can't, we're going to have to delay the elections just so they can stay in power because Biden is so unpopular, it's such a disaster. And the Democrats are also a disaster as well. They, so many of them are going to be voted out of power if the vote is allowed to take place. So watch for every effort to worsen every disaster between now and election day. It is as if the, the regime in charge is literally in a kind of 
terrorism against the people mode. They are looking through their playbook like flipping. Yeah, that's pretty much it on that. Now let's go to this next video. Alright, now this is from uh, World at War, episode 10. China triggers a new war to control your mind. And the reason I'm bringing this out is because this is the system that they want to use once they uh, depopulated the planet. All right. This is just a test run that they got over there in uh, in uh, China right now. They're testing their technology on what they plan on this fourth industrial revolution, how it's supposed to be ran. All right. <clears throat> And this is the B system, all right? And it's going to come with the C hip. Not only just the Kool-Aid, but the C hip, all right? It's the cherry on top for this thing. But we know through the prophecies of the Bible that they won't bring it to full fruition. But this is what they plan on doing, all right? And I don't know what the hell is wrong with the rest of you Israelite groups that can't see it. That can't see that the uh, mark of the beast is the... Uh, CHIP, the RFID technology, that's being that's being rolled out everywhere, man. All right, well let's listen to this a little bit. China is preparing itself for a new war. This is a war to control the minds of its own people, and it's as unconventional as it gets. The government wants to sense the mood of every individual at all times. The Chinese government wants to know what makes people happy and what they approve of and what they disagree with. And armed with this data, Beijing can suddenly decide to penalize you if the government were to find out that you do not wholeheartedly support the government's policies. Does this strike to you as an Orwellian, all-powerful, dystopian surveillance state? Because that is precisely what this is, and it's a reality that people in China will have to live with in the days to come. To be clear, this is very different from China's notorious and all-pervasive surveillance, coupled with its draconian credit system. In fact, this is way worse. This is a new project that China is bringing about for the Communist Party workers to begin with. For Xi Jinping, loyalty is the greatest virtue. And to achieve this, the Chinese researchers have combined surveillance cameras with AI tools to read the minds of the Communist China Party workers and to make them more receptive to political education. So does this sound far-fetched to you? Well, this is how Xi Jinping is going about reading the minds of his own party workers. The Chinese... Now listen, listen to how they're going to go about to read the minds of their own people. Right. This is the, the this is the the system that Esau Edom wants to have in place. Like I said, once he uh, then what what he think he's gonna bring about his uh, new world order, his enterprise into full fruition, but this it won't go because the heavenly Father's sending Yahweh Shai back to stop him. But this is the system that they want in place. All right. This is where society is going. All right. It's over. Regular living is over, man. It's just a matter of time before it hits the states. Communist Party workers will be subjected to party propaganda material on the internet. They'll be constantly monitored through surveillance cameras. And then AI, artificial intelligence, will decide how engaged they were while reading through the party's plans and policies. Any hint of disapproval or... So while reading... Their, uh, their their party's uh, policies while they're reading it in their mind they're they're monitoring their thoughts through what the kool-aid the ai that's uh in the kool-aid the nanotech that was in the kool-aid right along with the sea hip man all right this is where this is this is where all society is headed but call hello how about shimmy i was shy that's gonna send you i was shy back to to stop this man all right and this is, here in China, this is a test run for the technology they want to put on the whole earth, all right? Especially to you tribes, man. Their faces of government policies will land them in trouble. The organization behind this new mind control project 
is the Hefei Comprehensive Natal Science Center. And this grand plan was launched on the 1st of July this year on the foundation day of the Chinese Communist Party. The Communist Party of China already has an indoctrination app called the Study Sheet to Make China Strong when 96 million Communist China Party members are expected to earn points by reading articles and watching videos. Each party member must earn a minimum of 40 points per day by reading at least four articles, each of which would take about four minutes to read, and then by watching three videos whose duration would be at least nine minutes per video. Failure to do... As you can see, it's a system of perpetual slavery. And they had a, a episode in Black Mirror. They had the episode 15 Million Merits. And then you had the, the social credit episode where every the society was governed on likes on your performance in society. When you went to the DMV, were you courteous? Uh, uh, did you speak proper? This is what that whole Black Mirror series was, was a... A, a, a glimpse of the dystopian type society that they want to bring all right and it's going to all come all right into full fruition when they start to issue this mot to the b let's go to the uh, chapter real quick and i'm gonna close it out um this is revelation chapter 13 uh verse 16 it says and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that's what that whole system is about. The AI system to connect you to their grid so they can monitor your every waking movement, your thought, everything. All right? An artificial intelligence society with the, the people being the, the perpetual slaves to this system all right and it's going you're going to have to get that c here this is the this is the b system that china is uh uh just rolled out the indoctrination app and all that madness that is the b system that they want around the entire globe all right it says and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name all right and it's going to come to a point to where the society is going to go completely belly up. And this is going to be the solution that they're going to give and offer to the people. And it's either you're going to take it or you're going to be off the grid. You won't be connected, all right, to how society will be ran, all right? You will have to live off the grid and in turn have your full trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The rest of the people that don't, the heathens, uh, uh, two-thirds that don't believe, they're going to they're going to they're going to uh, uh, they're going to fold to this system. That's why it says and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, because he's going to generate that type of fear and anxiety and pressure to where you're going to fold if you're not of the elect of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. So I'm going to end it there. Lord will, this was uh, edifying and informing. To the hopeful elect, giving all praise to Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai, and so on to the next video. Shalom.